hey guys welcome back to my channel it's me kashar here welcome back to another video so as you can see oh let me take my badge y'all your girl is at work one thing y'all can see it so sunday night and i'm here and we're about to get this thing started so apparently we got some goodies today and i'm excited y'all know it was sleep tech appreciation week last week it's made pack lighter sleep better i don't know why they gave us a mask but they gave us a mask this air fit mask i guess just to try out i don't know and the straw i love these straws love them with the straws and we got one of these cups and apparently oh my god oh we got a starbucks card look up there and some candy in the bag look at there come to work and i got goodies in the bag see they just be spoiling us up here see y'all no, eggs wait. How <laughs> you talking? See, y'all asked if it's stressful. The job is not stressful at all, but Sunday nights is stressful. <laughs> it's stressful because you don't know if you're gonna have somebody coming or not. I know. Hmm. Another one. Too short. We weren't even short. It was old. Of a book tonight, but nobody has to go home. That's the plus side. I'm gonna start those tests, okay? I want you to close your eyes for me and lie real still. You can open your eyes and continue to lie still for me. All right, using your eyes only, don't move your head, okay? I want you to look left, then right, left, then right, up, down, up, then down. All right, now I want you to move your right foot. Now move your left. Okay, now I want you to bite down like you're chewing gum. All right, that looks good. Now I want you to take a deep breath for me and hold it. You can breathe. Okay, now I want you to count to five out loud for me. One, two, three, four, five. Everything looks good. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call out to me, okay? You have a good night. Y'all, way to start off my day. I done left my badge at home. I don't know how I left my badge at home, but I done left it at home. So I can't get in the door. So now I have to wait until somebody else gets here so I can get in the building. So today is Monday night and I'm at work, of course, as you can see. But um, I'm gonna talk to y'all about a couple of things that I've been getting asked. And it was mainly like, um, what school did I go to next? So I actually had to go to school in a different state. The school that I went to was in Tennessee. And um, good thing it wasn't a long drive away from me it was like an hour and 20 minutes I actually had to drive to school but um yeah so i actually had to go to school in a different state i know i had somebody ask me like they was trying to research some information on how could i go to school for it now i don't know if you can actually take online classes for it now that i honestly don't know but i know they do also have a school in alabama i don't know if any of y'all are close to me or something like that but i don't really think it's that many schools around here that actually does sleep now i did ask my co-workers that actually been doing sleep for a long time how were they able to go about the process and a couple of them was like that the doctor basically gave them some stuff to study and they just actually had to take the boards because a lot of my um co-workers are from respiratory and they just transferred to sleep so all they had to do was just take the um study for the board exam and I guess do hands on like I guess he had to teach them how to do it so yeah but I don't know I'm gonna do a little bit more research for you guys so I can actually tell you or I can just ask my teacher like what schools do they have that's you know how many schools do they have for sleep but like I said I'm from Mississippi so I actually have to go to Tennessee to go to school um I have it's another lady that's doing her clinicals now and she goes to the school that's in Alabama so um, every program is different. I don't think hers is as long as mine's and mine's were more hands-on Yeah, hands-on training than her school actually was like mine's you have three terms It was nine and a half months the first term was strictly books learning like the head 
learning all you know the stuff that you need to know to prepare yourself for the sleep world um the term two was basically hands-on where we actually learned how to hook up um we started doing clinicals and stuff like that so we actually started we're able to go to like a lab and just practice and do everything like that um the third term was just strictly clinicals where i would just actually come to where i actually work at now and just do my hours of clinicals and i'll basically just do the same shift that they do 6 30 to 6 30 and just learn everything and how to you know score and stuff like that but mine was nine and a half months and um i graduated in january so i started last may it might have been like eight and a half nine months but i started may of 2018 and i just finished in january 2019. no i hope not <laughs> I hear you. Yeah. My miss was in my last video, girl. Uh oh. Look how you rolling up. Oh gosh, I really am. You are right oh, there. Okay. <laughs> I told y'all I have a seat by patient, so I'm gonna show y'all the mask that I'm thinking about using. I love the Marview mask. And it's this one right here. Um, it basically, as you see, it like fits up around your nose. It doesn't cover your nose. But um, this is a really, really good mask. So I'm probably gonna end up using this one. Yeah, I'm probably gonna end up using the Marview on her. But the Dreamwear they also has a good mask as well. And it's kind of like this. I wanna can y'all see. But it looks like this and it's the same almost the same as that but the thing is the the only difference is this piece right here on the dreamwear one is up top so it'll be easy for you to like twist and turn if you were to sleep you know all over the place at night so yeah i'm probably gonna do this one we're gonna try this one and see if she likes this one um also a good another good full face mask is this one it is the simplest mask this is like the number one full face mask y'all so i just finished picking up my food so dinner tonight that's gonna be the famous oh missy heating up some dang on brussels sprouts and they stink but this is what i'm eating tonight the cajun shrimp wrap with the chips Oh, if you eat Brussels sprouts, you are disgusting. You are not human. No, I'm just playing. It ain't that bad though, but they stink. Y'all, look at this. Sleep tech winners. And look who was on there. It's so sweet. Nah, this done made my night. Look at me. I ain't even been doing this long. Not even a year. And I got sleep that. Period. That is what's up. I was having a rough day and I was just like, you know what? My day gonna get better. And I come to work to that. And they gave us an hour massage that we can get. <laughs> I just don't know what to say right now. So last night, excited. CPAP and the PSG to CPAP is my return. I feel like I tell y'all that every time. I pick up the camera, but it should be interesting. I'm gonna show you this mask that I'm gonna use on my patient. That's actually my return. Y'all, see, my camera, I'm pissed. Because, you know how everybody always been having those troubles with the Canon G7X screw? My screw just fell out my camera. But anyways, I am coming in here to show you guys the mask that I'm gonna use on my patient tonight. Um. He's gonna need a full face mask. The most popular full face mask that we like to use around here, everybody's a little bit different, is the simplest mask. This like it holds a perfect seal. It is you don't get a leak or anything like that. It's just perfect. If your mouth comes open, it'll stay in place. This is just everything. This is my favorite go-to full face mask besides the mask that I showed you guys last night. And it has like a bar that comes up with the two straps. These right here. The little clamps, clamps right there, just to keep the mask in place. Um, we need to get our tubing for the machine, and also our humidifier chamber. Good morning. Good morning. Good 
Uh, it's about 5.15 if you want to sit up on the side of the bed. I'm going to come in and get those wires off of you, okay? Uh, almost that time. I hope I'm in focus, but y'all know my view sound is messed up right now. But it is almost time for me to go. So I'm gonna close this vlog. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can see this beautiful face on your timeline. Hit those notification bells. Yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.